all on behalf of Student Progression and Industry Relations Digital Team. So today we have among us Mr. Sarthak Bolkar and Mr. Kunal Agarwal. They are third year computer engineering students. So hello Sarthak and Kunal. Hello. Hope you both are doing well. So uh, first of all, uh, would you like to introduce yourself and the club in brief? Yeah. So first of all, uh, thank you Nirabhama and I would also like to thank the student progression uh, cell to, uh, for having us here. Uh, I am Sathak Gorkar, I am in my third year computer engineering and I am president for coding club for this academic year. And I am Gunal Agrawal, I am the vice president of coding club for this academic year. So when we started this club, we were uh, just two of us who were managing all the things but now uh, we are a uh, growing community of around 640 plus students who, who are from different branches and different backgrounds. Uh, we are backed up by our very supportive faculties and also the computer department of RSC. And currently we have four domains in our coding club, web development, app development, overall development and data science machine learning. So students can enroll for the club and try their hand in all the different domains and uh, then select what they are interested in. So what is the motto of your club or what was the, what was your vision behind starting this club? Uh, the coding club for this academic year we believe in learning, inspiring and growing the community as a whole. Uh, like for example when an individual joins our community, he learns something, uh, then he inspires others to learn and then the whole community grows. So that is how we believe things should work in our community. Okay, so what kind of events, workshops or contests has the club hosted in the past or is planning to host in the future? Okay, so we started with Codigo, that was our first main event, the flagship event and it is organized every year, it is a coding competition. Then we had a data science workshop for, from the admin of the college. Then we had non-technical events like maths quiz on the day of International Maths Day. Mm -hmm. Then we had poster making for voter awareness mm -hmm. and we are also planning hackathons and uh, sessions on main trend technologies like NFTs, Metaverse, Blockchain. Okay, great. Okay, so why do you think someone should join your club and what skills can they learn as a result of being a member of the club? Uh, see, the when someone approaches us he would like to join the coding club. So, the, his technical skill set will develop, no doubt. But along with that, uh, he will also develop other skills which the community brings to him like soft skills, confidence, morale mm -hmm. and uh, like his net worth increases so these things are coming complementary when you are a part of a community because uh, if you know when you are in a community so if a single person grows in that community so uh, people around him also grow in the same way so that is what community does to you Okay, so have you worked uh, or are working with any other teams apart uh, within the college? Any experience on that? Uh, not exactly within the college, but we have UiPath as a partner with us. So I am the UiPath student developer champion for this academic year. And UiPath is a leading RPA company, Robotic Process Automation. So they also have offered free courses on the UiPath Academy for the students so they can learn and grow in RPA. Okay. Okay, so uh, as we know that when there is a teamwork and uh, collaboration then wonderful things can be achieved. So but we all know that managing a team is not an easy job. So what were the challenges you experienced uh, as a team leader? So uh, in initially building that capable team of uh, bringing the talented students from different branches together. So that was the major challenge we faced because uh, there were lots of applications and we had to filter out from many capable candidates so who will be uh, suitable for taking that leader role in the in their respective domains. But after that, uh, in the beginning, uh, the team had some hesitation. They were not able to perform uh, well in that team. But we managed to uh, improve that gradually by team building sessions and uh, other means. So, uh, what talents do you believe are required or should be developed in order to become an exceptional coder? See, as I said earlier, technical skills are uh, developed with uh, not much effort. That, that can be easily developed. But uh, for a coder, the most important thing in my opinion is problem solving ability. Because uh, problem solving ability not only helps you in technical aspects but also the life aspects of your uh, journey. So problem solving skills are improved, are necessary and that are improved by coding 
then logical reasoning and this type like the aptitude mentally you become strong when you are a coder so that's what i feel is the most important thing and to add to it consistency and dedication also plays a major role because just mastering the language and then leaving it behind won't work you have to be consistent and it and uh, have passion for it Okay, so uh, what accomplishments do you believe you have made as the handler of this team personally and as a team member? So, uh, to start with, uh, all of us have developed a great uh, leader in themselves because that is very much required when you go out of the college, join any organizations. I had prior experience of uh, working in a team of a uh, uh, like. Uh, international youth organizations that is ISEC. So I had prior experience. So bringing up it here and uh, using that experience with my teammates to make myself better version of uh, to give out my better version. So that is what where I feel I have improved. Also, technical skills are improved. They are sharpened a bit, and other soft skills are also improved. Okay. So uh, do you believe that students from non-IT background or non-IT fields should also consider coding and programming? Uh, so students from non-IT field, if they want a job in IT, coding is necessary mm -hmm. as you know every company does for that. So with the placement perspective, it is important for them and they can learn by joining our club. Mm -hmm. And if they are interested, if they are not interested in IT jobs and they want to go with their core branches, then it's not exactly necessary. Okay. Yeah, but as I said earlier, ki when you practice coding, your problems are solving skills, logical reasoning and other skills are also developed along with that technical knowledge. So that's why uh, whether IT or non-IT, if you practice coding, the other skills are also sharpened. So that is an ad added advantage for any kind of job role. Right, absolutely. Okay, so how can the students enroll themselves into the club? Is there any criteria or recruitment process? Uh, no, so currently we don't have any criteria or recruitment process. Mm -hmm. uh, they can just fill a Google form which you can provide the link. For and the only criteria is that you should have genuine interest to learn something new and be a part of community and also like have personal growth and help others grow. Okay. okay, so our audience would love to hear about the various competitions that the coding club has aced so far. So anything that you would like to add on that? Uh, we have aced all the competitions that are organized by us till now. The major recent major success was the Codigo 2.0. Uh, we managed to get uh, 75 to 80 teams on board from all across India, from IITs, NITs, and other prestigious colleges. And uh, our students who participate in other uh, events, we have some of mentionable uh, competitions like uh, we got a top two among 108 teams in a competitive coding competition. Then uh, one of our teams, like students, were selected from 400 in a hackathon. They were placed top 50. So, like that, some achievements are there. Okay. So, at this stage, what is the next big thing that your team is looking forward to or would like to achieve? Um, as Kulal said earlier, we are currently partnered with UiPath, a leading RPA company. Mm -hmm. And in the coming academic year, we are planning to have Google Developer Student Club on board. So it will open up more opportunities for the students and for us as well. Okay. So lastly, what message would you like to give uh, to our aspiring engineers? Uh, the, for aspiring engineers, you never like, uh, if you think that coding is difficult, that is absolutely wrong in my opinion. Coding is very easy and I am saying it multiple times that it develops your problem solving ability and logical reasoning that helps you in IT as well as non-IT job like it helps you in life not only in your uh, job career or profession so uh, you should be a hard working individual dedicated and consistent to is the coding uh, field and yeah you should not never stop believing in yourself and you can do anything and for third year or fourth year students who think that it's too late so it's never too late to start coding because you can learn it in a few like few months and it will help you in okay so the only thing that is required is dedication dedication yeah. and consistency okay so thanks a lot for coming over and spending your time and it was great talking to both of you Sarthak and Kunal and we wish you all the very best for all your future years thank you thank, thank you, you.